Okay, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm going to try something a little different. Most of the songs that I've done so far, um, the Kid Rock stuff, the band on the run, there's, there's a lot of like dyads. And it's a really cool way of playing. And I thought I'd do a lesson on it. So uh, I wrote a little progression and I wrote a guitar solo. And I used dyads so that I can make a lesson out of it. Uh, give you an idea like how they're used and you know maybe give you some ideas for your own stuff now I played the video in the beginning so you heard it and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put up chord charts I'm gonna put up tabs and at the end of this video I'm gonna put up a, a backing track to um, to the solo so that you can um, so you can practice it so, first thing you need to know is you need to know the chords. Pretty important. Uh, let me... Wait, hold on one second here. So that's basically the chords. It's important, you, especially when playing diets, playing in a style, you got to know the chords progression. Like, you got to know it. You can't, you can't just start making diads up and stuff like that. It might, it could sound really horrible. But um, okay, so here we go. Start off the. Uh, two. Now you're coming in on beat number four, which would be the D chord. Now I'm using my right hand, using my middle finger. You don't need to do that. You could use a pick. It just sounds, I don't know, I think it sounds a little better with your fingers, but it's really not that important. So you're coming right in on a D chord. That whole lick right there is right out of it, right out of this, this chord shape. You're just gonna hammer. You're gonna, it's like going from a B to an A. Should have the tab up there. I don't have the hammer though, I believe. In fact, I changed the solo around and I didn't feel like going back and redoing a tab. So if I don't have the tab, I'll go over. But I'm pretty sure that's that's that should be up there. Then you're just gonna slide from the A to B to E. Tab. And you want it to ring. Two, three. Okay, that part. It's, it's based right out of the E suspended four. Then I'm gonna go into the F sharp minor. Now, before you go into the F sharp minor under the E chord, I'm gonna play a little dyads again. I'm gonna hammer from the B to C sharp. your dyad, the um, third and second string E and G sharp, right out of the E chord. Then you're going to hit the E chord again, and you're going to hammer to the, um, the 11th and 10th fret F sharp A, which is part of the F sharp minor chord.
got a little run. And you're gonna land on the F sharp, the third of the D chord. chord again this is all when you're playing this style you're really looking at chord shapes you might as well, the modes and all that stuff you can pretty much throw out the window using this basic D chord you're gonna hammer to the B fourth string third fret back to the uh, the D or the A then you're gonna hit the F sharp fourth string fourth fret so this is right out of that chord shape. And you're going to go right back to uh, the B. Hammer right to the B, just like you have right here. Same thing, same idea, in fact. This was, there's your E chord. There's your D chord. Same, same shape, same idea. Fourth string, third fret, second string, third, oh, I'm sorry, third string, fourth fret, uh, second string, third fret. And you're gonna slide up to the C sharp and E, which is part of the A chord. It's right out of this A major triad. And you just hold it. Now if you have a, a bar, it might sound cool. Put a little tremolo type uh, effect on there. Now this riff is going to start on the fourth string A, uh, seventh fret. Then you're going to play the third string sixth fret C sharp. Then you're going to play open B and open A or open E. This is all part of um, A major. A major, you end the second, the B. Then you're going to play the first string, fifth fret A, and second string, fifth fret E. So it's like this. it back to uh, the B and it give it like a, an E chord so solo that's that's the whole thing it's uh actually it's a 16 bar solo but i only i'm only doing eight bars of it there's it's a 16 bar progression but um yeah i hope that uh helps people out with uh with some of the dyads it's uh, a really cool way of playing and um it's a different approach to the guitar it gives you a lot of cool sounds it's a little country kind of a country rock you know kind of thing to it but um, after 
the video, I'll have the backing track up. So check it out. You know, give it a whirl and come up with your own riffs. It's a you got the chord chart there, the progression. Come up with some of your own ideas. Um, you know, for dyads and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. I am out of here. See you.